Hello everyone, so welcome to this little surface modeling practice. If you want to learn and master surface modeling, you always have to come back to a little practices like that to just experiment and further understand techniques and workflows. And also when you practice on small objects like that, you just have faster a feeling of accomplishment. And, and this is just very important boost of little motivation along the way in your journey. So let's have a look and start to create that. So, so first of all, <clears throat> you see this whole piece is kind of constructed of three of the same pieces. Before we start with anything else, we can start by creating a line and just drag that out here a little bit and go here to radial array around the center and just three. So now we can also delete this one piece. So we just have to work with one third. Here you see we have a nice curvature rounding which is connecting those three pieces on the outside and then we have this little bump here on one of the third and everything is connected here with some beautiful smooth surfaces so let's recreate that very simple we just go to the front view control shift f control point curve and we just create here this kind of flowy uh, curve and we just adjust the shape, experiment around. So, I mean, here you have one million different options, what form you can create. But yeah, I think something like that. And just to check it out, if that will look good, it's always good. Um, yeah, just to array that everything around. So we see if this looks fine. So again, around the middle with three rotations. And yeah, I really like this shape. I don't know, it's it's really beautiful. <laughs> and cool, so now we have to create here this bump in the middle. And as you see here, it's smoothly transitioned into the second part and the third part and here the same. So that means we need tangency from those two edges. Like if you watch my videos, you know already that I love the words curvature, tangency, continuity and all that stuff. If you don't know what this is, definitely check out here my PDF, the surface modeling essentials. You have everything important about all of those uh, terms. So what we will do, because we need tangency and we can't really create here in a fast way uh, curves with tangents here, we can just take those curves and press E for extrude and just extrude them a little bit. So it doesn't matter so much which direction and all that stuff. And let's hide those curves because now what we can do is we can print some lines into this direction and into this direction. So then we can love them with continuity and we get some points and we can adjust it and this time the first time I think in my tutorial here on YouTube we will even use G3 continuity because we will really need that but let's first start with some uh, curves again you can position them as you like but yeah I want uh, something like that so select them both and shift one or imprint also in the PDF, you find all of my shortcuts. They are absolutely proved, proven, tested, optimized for super fast modeling. So you will get this as a bonus with the PDF on the surface. And the same here, select this curve, shift one or imprint on the surface, delete those curves. And we have something like that because now we can take those edges and bridge them. So shift B or bridge edge. And press 1 so you see the points. And we need even, so G2 is fine, but we need even G3. Why? Because as I told you, we need here on this edge a lot of tangents here. So at least G1 to G2. But we also need few more extra points, which we have here, so we can push them up so we get this bump. So that's why we need so many points. We could also subdivide it, but G3 will work perfectly fine here. So 
if we see what we have, this should look fine. And let's maybe adjust the, just this one little point here. And now also select this point and bring him up. So play around where you want it. And also just to smooth everything out, bring this point in the middle of this on the ground and on the top, more or less. But again, it's as you, as you like. Amazing. So what we can do now is we can loft those curves and shift at those edges here and give them G2, but they are already basically G2, but that's fine. So you see, we have something cool like that and we are almost done. So let's press four and join all of those surfaces. If it's not working, do it one by one and control D for delete redundant topology, just to make everything a little bit smoother. And we can patch now here our hole. So select it with alt click. So alt click, select those edges, patch it and voila, it works fine. And also we can add here now G2 and you see it's super smooth, but as one little bonus thing, if you want to control here, this little shape and we want it because you see it's, it's starting to curve too early. I want it a little bit later. Um, for that super simple, we go to the top view and we just create a line from this endpoint to somewhere here in the middle. And now just SS and we will extend the curve and shift one imprint again onto the surface. So now you see we have the same what we had, but this time in the 3D space, we have two extra edges. So select them, shift B. Here we want G0 obviously. And here we want G2. G2 and if we press one, let's make it even G3 to again to make it super smooth, press OK. And you see now this point is a little bit going too crazy. It looks like Nike or something. So let's just select this point and with G bring that a little bit here closer. You see, so we just have a little bit of a sharper um, curve or curvature. Again, control D. So now we can finally patch it. Alt click the edge, patch it. And if you see here in this angle and if we press shift and select this edge, it pushes it a little bit more inside. That's good. And we can add here G2 and G2. And you see, we have here a little bit on the surface. Yes, a little bit of a stretching. So let's increase the tolerance here to 001 a little bit to just smoothen it a tiny little bit up. You can play around with the curve and some values to, to get it smoother, but for now it's fine. So press OK, delete this surface, hide those curves, select the surface, go to the top view and radial array in the middle three times, press OK, press join. And voila, we are almost done. So select edge, alt click this whole outer edge, shift D to duplicate and E to extrude this a little bit to give it a little bit of thickness, right? Delete this curve, alt click again at the bottom and patch it to close the hole. And now press four, select all surfaces, join them. Select, so we want everywhere beautiful smoothness. So select all of those three edges here and give them a like, nice simple fillet. And also let's fillet those two here. And also I forgot here, of course, the, the edges on the top. You have a pretty cool shape. And yeah, the other one is a little bit smoother because I just spent it a little bit more time with that. So if you love surface modeling as I do, Definitely check out my PDF, super valuable information, shortcuts. You will sign up for my email newsletter. You will get special offers, special announcements and really cool stuff. So check that out and I hope I see you in my next video. Bye.